Well, good day to you. This is my entry into uh, the club, the YouTube Rock Hounding Club, or whatever, whatever it's called. So as an introduction, a year ago, a little over a year ago, I bought a kayak with the hopes of using it, of course. Um, had some friends that we had prearranged to go on a trip together, and it didn't work out. And as a result, it has sat in my garage the last year, completely entirely unused. And um, I decided it's finally time to to use it. So we're going down the river today, just kind of as a back backstory or an explanation. I I live here in central Illinois, and uh, we're known for having lots of corn and soybean fields, but not a whole lot of, of uh, other scenery. Not exactly the rock hounding center of the world. Um, but I have learned from experience just going out and um, a little here and a little there that in the river valleys and in the creeks and stuff, we, we have fair amount of gravel size rocks and pebbles uh, as a result of the glacial till or the the debris that the glaciers deposited when they melted um, maybe in the course of time I'll explain more how all that happens but I know that certain areas um, there's quite a bit of jasper and, and quartz that can be picked up in other areas. The river may cut through the bedrock, which is largely limestone, um, and potentially fossils could be found. And uh, it's been a long time since I've gotten out locally and just looked. And um, you don't look, you don't find. So... I'm finally getting out, and uh, we're going to go down the river, and um, let's see what I can find. So here, looks like a fossilized seashell. Sorry for my shakes. I think I'll pick that up and take it with me. Kind of cool. So here's a piece. It's, I wouldn't consider it a real beautiful rock, but it's got some interesting, it's got an interesting quartz seam in it. I don't know. I'll take it, clean it up, see what it looks like under after it's been cleaned up real well. That stands out, doesn't it? Tiny piece. But 
but uh, I'll take that. Here's a couple of things that um, stood out to me. Of course, you can see the red jasper. Uh, so we're starting to get into some color here. That's good. And this I found interesting. It doesn't look like a plant or anything, so I picked it up, and it's a, it's a piece of, it looks like it's just a piece of melted glass. Kind of interesting. So I'll take that. I don't know that I'll do anything with it, but... Yeah, I think we're into it now, into the good color. So this is this is kind of a burnt reddish orange, but uh, I like it. And it's free. I don't know if this is anything special or not, but I'll take a look at it. Well, the sun's come out, and I don't know how well this is going to affect how. How good things show up. Let's see if I can find well this piece here. It actually looks a little bit like granite. But um, it's got some nice red and green together, so I'm gonna take it and maybe polish it, and then there's in the sun. This one up here looks interesting so let's dig it out and wash it off and just maybe a piece of quartz but, uh, got some interesting patterns going on there maybe some lines hmm See if I can get a close up. Boy, with the sun, I can't tell whether this is focusing on the rock or not. Uh, whether you can see it or not, but I think that's something that we need to take home and explore under better lighting and having cleaned up. Interesting, I turned here to um, record, and then right over here, I think this is another little piece of jasper. And we'll take it, polish it. I don't know if it's as waxy as we like to see, but give it a try. Here's another nice piece of red. Don't know if it's jasper. There are some reds that are lower quality, but this looks to have some some quartz in it. Let's see if we can dig it out. It's a bigger piece than I anticipated. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hold on just a minute here. So I finally got it out. Took it over and washed it off. Definitely uh, quartz and jasper. What's, uh, what's Katie call it? Quasper? Um, but it's got some interesting... I think that'll make some nice slices. So I'm going to take that too.
is an interesting piece. It looks like it has um, some fossils on the inside. Let's see if I can get a good close up of it. So that's a pretty big piece for around here, and I think it's going home with me. Here's a couple more pieces that I picked up, and um, I've got them underwater right now. But uh, in, the rocks are so muddy here that um, I didn't. I'm not showing me picking up everything because I just don't know how you turn out until you wash it off. And it's it's just terribly muddy. You can kind of see the rocks in the the stream around these two. But one is a turns out to be really a nice deep red. And um, you know there's there's some other reds around, but um, to get something that's really really deep red is is um, not as common. So I'm going to take that one and the other one, which is the kind of an orange yellowish orange it's kind of pretty brilliant so I'll take that and then of course I've got the the fossil stone here and it looks like by examining it that the fossils only go maybe an inch into the rock so I will that will definitely be taken to the taken to the saw and cut up see what's inside So this is one I just found right here by this clamshell. Caught my eye because of the pattern in the rock. And uh, I suspect this is petrified coral. So let's go wash it off. Yep. Yep, I'm fairly certain that's what that is. Look at that. That is going to be beautiful. Sliced and polished with all those patterns in there. That is going to be nice. Here's something else I think I'm going to have to take with me. Get up there and get real close. We've got some crystal crystal cavity down there that's and some uh I don't even know how big this is, but it's a pretty big chunk. Quartz in uh in parent rock. Kind of bluish. Um, got some interesting this this quartz ring really. And we got a, some more. I suspect we got a lot more going on here. Over here, that'll be one that we want to take home and clean up and see what it looks like. Well, I'm back at home. Thought I'd show you my finds for the day. Um, in the back here is is a bunch of flint. I have uh, some projects that I'd like. I need some white for, so I, I picked up that, hoping to to incorporate into a project. Uh, we'll see how it slices up and how it looks. Um, a bunch of the yellow orange jasper. Um, I could have probably picked up ten times the amount that I did, and. Um, but I got a few pieces, uh, small pieces that will 
tumble and and uh, some larger pieces that I could slice and the red jasper um, there thought I should maybe wet things down I don't know if, how much that will improve but uh, So there, I was kind of picky choosy with the red jasper, and I, I think I could have been even more picky and choosy than what I was, but a um, number of pieces. This piece here, actually, I don't I don't believe it's jasper. It's, it's a coarser material that we see a lot of out there, and um, on the inside, um, there's, I don't know if that's a fossil. There's just um, some pattern there that uh, that interested me, so I threw that in. Uh, here's the quartz jasper uh, or jasper agate. I'm not sure, but um, with that red, that beautiful red there, I thought that would slice up and make a nice, nice something or other. Um, some small some small pieces that just kind of struck my fancy there's the piece of glass and a couple pieces of black I picked up this uh, clamshell it was opened um, and I, I most of the the things that we see out there are white but this one was rather kind of interesting because it was pink on the inside um, has a really nice shine to it and just because of the color I thought oh that's kind of interesting I'll take that and it was together so um, but in my opinion the the real treasures of the day were um, the front I thought I had filmed the finding of this and um, I didn't this is one of my first stops of the day and this is just a piece of, of uh, limestone or um, it's a coarser material, um, not something that would polish, and I, I don't, I wouldn't polish it if I had it, cut it and polish it. But you can see that there's um, fossilized in, indentations from from shells. There's the biggest one on this side is there, but there's a, some other smaller ones around. And hope oh, it's going out of focus. There, it's back in. Um, and then there's one on the back side that is really nice. Um, so. That's a specimen, and and I found this little white one, um, which is shows the ridges of a shell as well. Um, this is another one, actually on the on this side. It just looks like another piece of white flint, but you can see the pattern there, which caught my attention. I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Don't know what it is, but I'll keep that. Um, this was um, this is something I was intrigued by the patterns and the um, the design inside of it. It's, it's a piece of quartz or maybe agate. Because of the pattern, I'm a sucker for an interesting pattern, and so that's probably going to be the first one that I work. I want to slice that up a couple places and uh, see what it looks like on the inside. This is just a rather coarse rock that had the, the quartz vein in it. It has kind of a nice bluish tint to the vein. Another one that um, I don't think I showed the finding of this, but it had some lines in there and some patterns on it that I thought would be interesting to shine up, and I'll probably work that the same time that I work that one, so I'll do a, maybe I'll do a video on those. Um, the the real treasures and what made the day um, for me. I mean, there's a lot of jasper, and I like jasper and quartz and such. But the, what really made the day for me is is these three pieces up front here. Um, I found this one first, and this is the one that that has the the fossils in there. And this is unlike the the ones with the shell, or the the piece with the shells in in it. This is actually a silica 
or a quartz so I will be able to polish that and, and do something with that and then the last stop of the day um, was just absolutely incredible I did not expect to find a piece of coral uh, I know it exists out there petrified coral but um, I'm probably do a, a video of um, cleaning this piece up maybe slicing it and um, seeing what the pattern looks like but you can see a little bit of the pattern there absolutely beautiful not really colorful but uh, like I said I'm a sucker for a good pattern and then this piece which amazed me as well um, let, me, let me shoot that with a little bit of water um, kind of a bluish tint to the quartz and we've got these little pockets of crystals all over there's the biggest one and then um, there's one right here and then on this side let me shoot this side um, got one right here this c-shaped one that wraps around And here we've got one right here so we've got um, we've got this um, parent rock with quartz and uh, crystal cavities all throughout so I that one I, I don't know how I could do anything with it without cutting through a crystal cavity or something like that so I think that I'm just gonna leave that the way it is, although I'd like to polish up the, the places that don't have crystal cavities and I'm not sure how I would do that, so we'll figure that out in time I guess, but it was a it was an absolutely wonderful and exhausting day um And I hope to do it again, but probably the next couple videos I'll I'll show you uh, what I do with some of this stuff. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.